Temperatures today, not as hot as they have been by just a degree. We've been in the hundreds, but right now you can see we hit 99 today in Lubbock, 98, Clovis, 97, Hobbs, the hot spot, Wichita Falls checked in at 105 degrees. Boy, hot across the area. 30 triple digit days in 2011. That's an all time record beats all the records ever since we've been keeping them back in the late 1800s and it beats the Dust Bowl era in regards to the drought. We've only had 1.13 inches of rain the entire year. These were record days here as well. 112, that's number two in regards to the all time temperature. 112 is number two, 114 is number one. We didn't eclipse that number, thank goodness. Temperatures right now 89 in Lubbock, 92 Childress, Snyder and Abilene. When you look at what's happening outside, we just got clear skies on the McGavick Nissan Tower Cam. And when we look at what's happening on radar, showers and thunderstorms back here into New Mexico along the mountains there, the Rocky Mountains, that's helping them out. That's actually been very good, plentiful for them. Lots of lightning, not good for the wildfire threat, but they've at least been able to open some of the parks out there because of some of the moisture that they've gotten over the past few weeks. Southeast winds make it feel like it's muggy out here because that transports moisture from the Gulf of Mexico. So if you thought, hey, it's a little muggy out there, that's the reason why for today. High pressure sits on top of Texas, just makes it plain old hot. There's the showers and thunderstorms, even a couple of showers back here into the panhandle of Texas, but mostly those are wind producers. Barely any rain gets down to the ground. It evaporates before it happens. High pressure extends all the way back up here into the upper Mississippi valleys and the Ohio River valleys. That makes for some very hot times. Look at some of these hot temperatures. The highs today, 101 El Paso, but 102 Dallas, 105 Wichita Falls, 103 St. Louis, Detroit City, 100 degrees and heat indexes of 115. There were people that were dying from heat exhaustion today, so horrible for them, but they are dealing with some of the misery we've seen 30 days here across parts of West Texas. Here we go. The upper levels of the atmosphere shows high pressure just sits right on top of us, but that that's Hurricane Dora. Category 4 hurricane, that's going to throw some subtropical moisture, some of that monsoonal moisture back up here into West Texas. That gives us a shot and a sprinkle over the weekend. We'll show you that here in just a moment. Otherwise, future clouds and radar as we go all the way into tomorrow morning, there will be some clouds as the sun rises. And then in the afternoon, a couple sprinkles could be possible, but the best chance is along the Texas New Mexico border. Then as we make our way into late evening on into the overnight hours, just a few more clouds lingering around the area. And Saturday into the Permian Basin, maybe a shower. 72 for tonight, a few clouds, mild temperatures, winds of the south 10 to 15. Then for tomorrow, Plenty of sunshine, not a 100 degree day though. 97 winds of the south at 10 to 15. Your seven day forecast shows us 97, 96 and 96. So those are cooler temperatures than what we've been seeing. Slight chance of a sprinkle Saturday and Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, still upper 90s. Wednesday and Thursday will start to add to more of those 100 degree days and will still continue that all time record. Stick around, sports is next.